Today, we're gonna to talk about setting alerts on your trading view to get mobile notification, desktop notification, and email notification, both for when a trade is entered, but also before something happens using our indicator. Let's talk about it right now. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Really excited about today's video. I thank you all for your support on the previous video. You got that video to 200 likes, which meant that I brought you this video. And this video is all about setting up alerts on our charts. So the first thing you wanna do is get on TradingView and get over to this panel on the top right corner where it says watch list details and news. And today I'm just gonna start from scratch. I'm gonna assume you don't have anything set up and I'm gonna talk about how to create these alerts. Now, first and foremost, what alerts are, are they are a way, you can see down here in my alerts log, to get an alert when a trade happens, but also get a warning before a trade happens. So imagine everything lines up, we just haven't entered the trade yet. Do you wanna get a warning saying, hey, take a look, like it might happen in the next hour or two? That's what that's about, and that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. So there's two different alerts we're gonna talk about and it's gonna show up in your alert log, it's gonna show up on your mobile notifications because you can sign in your trading view on your mobile phone, it's gonna show up on your email. You're gonna be able to connect all those dots. So first things first, get over to your trading view. And the first thing I want you guys to do is open up this watch list. Now the second thing I want you guys to do is get the dang video to 200 likes. Come on now, we need 200 likes. And I'm gonna show you guys how to back test this dang thing, change the settings, and prove to yourself that you have a profitable strategy if you just follow the alerts. And uh, I'm gonna talk about that in the next video, and that's gonna be a big time video, money-making video, so get this thing to 200 likes, let's continue. Now, with that said, let's first start by creating a new list. So the first thing I want you to do is create a new list. So come over here, top right corner, come over here, hit create new list. I'll name this alerts list. I'm gonna hit save it says we have nothing in there good okay now the second thing I want to do is come up here to the plus sign and click add symbol now there's a lot of different ways to do this so let's talk together now please don't skip this part because it's so important what you need to understand is that there is what are called sources in Forex sources are different brokers all of these brokers represent a feed and all of these feeds send feeds of euro dollar so every single one of them have euro dollar but they're all a little bit different they're all a little bit different and that means that one could get an alert or another could not so there's two ways to look at this and you have to decide what am i going to do way number one is to say i'm only going to stick with one broker i'm going to use the source feed for one broker and this is not a broker talk i'm not affiliated with any brokers god forbid i ever talk about that this is not a broker talk but you might say, I'm only gonna do it for FX Open, or I'm only gonna do it for FXCM, or I'm only gonna do it for Oanda. That's option one. Option two, honestly, you gotta go hard. You gotta go hard. You gotta bring in every single feed for every single currency pair and set up alerts for all of them so that no matter the currency feed, you get an alert. You gotta decide what you wanna do. Me. I'm not gonna even give you my opinion because it doesn't matter. What matters is you decide what you wanna do. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to do both, not the whole time because it would take us hours in the video, but how to do both. So first thing, let's just say you say, you know what? I currently use FXCM or I use Forex or I use Saxo or I use Skilling or I use Vantage, maybe use Oanda. I just want alerts from that broker. Okay, that's good, watch. I'm gonna come over. I'm gonna add that as a source. Now I only have Oanda. The next thing I'm gonna do is literally click. I'm just gonna click and look at the right side of the screen. I'm adding to the feed. And I'm gonna add all of these to the feed for a second here. So let's just speed this video up. Okay, now that I'm done, it took me probably 45 seconds. These are all of them now added on the right side. So now you know you have an entire brokerage. This is all from one broker. You have an entire brokerage done. So you've got, in this case, this is all Oanda, but that's how you would do it per se if you only wanted to pay attention to one broker. So you only want alerts for one broker because maybe it's the one you're executing off of. Now you might say, I'm a little bit different. I want 
the feeds from everything. So what you do in that case, I would recommend doing the same thing. And then instead of doing all sources, just do it one at a time. So maybe come to active trades, do it again. And you'd click and you'd click and you'd click and you probably get the memo. You'd click the whole time. I'm not gonna do it for sake of time of the video, but you'd click and then you do it again. Then you'd come to all sources and you do it for Black Bull and you'd click and then etc. Now, keep in mind, you can also do crypto. So maybe you wanna do crypto. That's another thing that uh, a lot of people forget is that this trades on crypto and maybe you only have Coinbase or something. Well, in that case, that's what you do is you come up to Coinbase and you can add crypto. So I'm gonna add some just for sake of showing you guys how this would work. Because again, what your goal is, is to get whatever you wanna trade out there on paper, on your watch list, and then we'll go from there. So say those are the cryptos you wanna trade. There's a bunch of cryptos here. So now you've got a list, whether you've got a list with one broker, whether you got a list with a bunch, I don't really care. Now you've got the list. Now your goal is to learn how to create alerts. So let's talk about how to create alerts. The first thing you need to do is let's open a chart. So I'm gonna to come to the top of my list. I'm gonna open a chart. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to clear off my chart from everything else. I don't really need anything else right now. And I'm gonna go up to my indicators and I'm gonna to go to my invite only scripts. And when I click that, it's gonna say Patrick Asian session script, okay? Now, if it doesn't say that for you, it simply means you either haven't been granted access or you haven't applied for access, which is by the way, down in the description, there's an application form to apply for access for free. I'm giving this away for free. Now, as I click on that, the next thing, of course, you guys learned in the previous video, which are in all the playlists in the description, you gotta be on the 15 minute time frame. okay? And now remember, I have it set to default settings. You guys could have it do whatever you want, that doesn't really matter. The point is, you have it set up. So now what I want you to do is, let's just say you want to create an alert for, I already have one on Euro dollar, so I'm gonna do it on pound dollar. Let's say you wanna do it on pound dollar. What you're gonna do is you're gonna open the chart and you're gonna find the most recent entry. You're gonna find the most recent trade, which in this case is right here. What I'm gonna do in that case is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna right click on the arrow and I'm gonna click add alert, okay? There's an add alert here. This is one option. There's actually multiple ways to do it. There's condition. So let's just do it this way, just for simple. Right click. Do add alert and under condition, change it to Patrick session strategy. Now in this case, you're gonna notice that there's two different alert patterns. Now this is another decision that you've got to make. So when you drop it down, there's actually three. There's one that says order fills only, one says alert function only, one says order fills and alert function calls. Now, what are they each? Alert function calls is a warning. It's saying, hey, everything with the Asian range that you guys learned in the previous video, the RSI, the EMA location, everything lined up, we just haven't had a shift or the cross between the red and the yellow. That's what the alert function would be. That's like a warning. The order fills, that is a, you guessed it, an actual entry. That is like a signal. So you got one that's like a warning and one that's like a signal. And obviously you've got one that allows you in one click to get both. Now, whether you wanna move them uh, individually or have them combined, that's up to you. So I'll do it individually at first. So what I would do is I would do alert, uh, alert functions only and I'd click create. Literally that's it. And then I would come over here again I do add alert on pound dollar. I would switch it to Patrick session. And then I do order fills only. And then I hit create. And then if I did it correctly, I can come over here to alerts. And you guys will notice that I've got alerts right here. Okay. And these are now the alerts for pound dollar. It's done. Now you, you can name them. I'm going to show you guys how to do that in a second. You can certainly name them, but that's how that's set up. Okay. Let's do it again. Pound, uh, pound yen. First thing I'm gonna do on pound yen is I can find the arrow from a previous entry. 
Haven't had one in a while on pound yen. Okay, and I'm gonna right click here. Now, again, notice, when you do this, you can technically right click anywhere you want. I'm just trying to create good habits so you don't screw it up. But technically, this could be at the beginning of the chart. You could have just opened it. You could right click and go add alert, go to your drop down, Patrick session strategy, and again, order fills only. Now, if you do order fills only, let's just say this time we do order fills only, the alert name, you can name it. GBP, JPY, entry. Then I could hit create. Now I could do it again, add alert, Patrick session, alert function calls only. And this one again is an alert name. You see this? This is an alert name. You can rename this if you want. So do you want to rename it? I don't really care, but you could say GBP JPY warning if you want. Again, this is all preference as you're probably noticing. Now, one more time, I'm going to do this, but now I'm going to show you how to do both at the same time. Go to dollar cat. Let's say I'm on dollar cat. I'm going to right click, click add alert again, drop down. Now I'm going to do order fills and function again. That's the alert. Now this one, I would recommend if you do both at the same time, just put the name of the pair USD cat. Click create. Now again, coming back up here, you can see I've got dollar cat. I've got separate ones. Now, me personally, I like having them separate. That way I don't have to read the alert and see what which, which it is. I'd rather have ones that say warning and ones that say entry. Again, that's me, but you guys might say, well, for sake of time, I'd rather have them combined into one alert and then every pair has one alert. Again, a lot of this is preference. Now from there, if you guys are, are then to log into your phones, let's go over here on our phone here. and we log into TradingView, you guys can see on the bottom right corner, I have my charts open here. On the bottom right corner there, I've got alert management. Under alert management, you can see I've got all the alerts under my list on the left side here. So you can see all your active alerts and then you got a log. So I can see, you know, Euro dollar today had a warning. Euro dollar had a warning today. It, just didn't get there. So it got my eyes on Euro dollar. We just didn't get to the trade. It just didn't enter. But every function is there and then I can get push notifications, things like that onto it, which we're gonna talk about in just a minute. So that's how you do it on your phone. As we talk about customization, let's open another example. Okay, here's Euro yen. Let's again, right click, click add alert and go to Patrick's strategy. Now here's where things can get customized. So let's just pretend that you're like me and you want to separate them. So you want to have this one say Euro JPY warning. Well, now what you can do is you can come in notifications and you can add a lot of different things. You might want to notify an app. This uh, puts a push notification in the mobile app. As long as you're signed in, you got to be signed in with the same trading view account. You want to display a pop up on your screen. Absolutely, I would pop up on screen. That means it pops up when you're on trading view. If it happens, I would do it. Send email, I would do it. Webhook URL, I don't use this, but this could be a URL trigger. So like you might wanna create a, a trigger to another data feed or something, whatever you wanna do, that's how you do that. I don't do that because that's a little bit uh, more complex than just me and using it on trading view. You could also play sound. Maybe you wanna do, you could hit play here and listen to it. And, and you can kind of hear what it sounds like. They all sound kind of funny. You could have thin once, five seconds, 10 seconds, whatever. That's playing a noise that an alert just went off. You can also send email to SMS. This sends a plain text for SMS to an alternative email. This isn't what it sounds like. It doesn't actually send a text to your phone. Anyway, those are the settings for that. Also, because I have a paid for plan, I have an open-ended alert. Some of you guys won't. If you don't have an open-ended alert, it's it's gonna suck because you're gonna have to redo these every single month. Now again, I'm not sponsored by TradingView, but I'm saying if you had a paid for TradingView account, you could have these open-ended alerts, which means once you do it once, all the hard lifting once, you never have to do it again. And then you just hit create. Now, what I do wanna say is most of these do come standard with all of those alerts, or I'm sorry, with all of those settings. 
So when you come up here to add alert, notice under notifications, it says five. That's because I have one, two, three, four, five of them checked. So they do come standard. But again, that's how you set up alerts. The question is, are you guys gonna do it on multiple different uh, platforms, multiple different sources, or just one? And then how many are you gonna set up? A lot of people are like, man, I didn't know so many cross pairs would light up. Yeah, cross pairs are crazy. They have opportunities galore. If you guys like a lot of opportunities, you probably wanna set up cross pairs. You probably wanna set up cryptos. If you guys want less opportunities, you probably wanna set up only a few. Again, if you get to 200 likes on this video, we're gonna talk about how to back test. So then you only trade the pairs that are profitable, which is a big deal. But again, I wanna thank you guys so much for coming on these videos, sharing these videos, commenting these videos. If you made it this far, I want you guys to go to the bottom of the comments section and comment your, your, your thoughts so far. Just give me a, a couple sentences of how you're doing so far, what you're learning, what the indicator's doing for you, how much you've indulged in it, and just kind of let me know how we're doing, guys, because I do appreciate it. So with that said, we'll be back for that, um, that back testing video as soon as you guys get this video to 200 likes. I appreciate you so much, and we will see you on the next video.